Yeah, so uh, my name is Mayan Kadosh. I'm from Israel. I live in LA and right now I'm traveling, backpacking in South America. I am also a digital nomad. I had so many things that I realized that there's those things that I regret bringing with me. There's those things I regret not bringing with me and there's those things that I'm so glad I brought with me because this is so helpful and useful and I'm just happy I brought it. So I just wanted to do like this video to, to talk to you guys and then to show you what I think you should take with you when you're going backpacking, what you shouldn't, um, just because it takes space and eventually you don't really need it. And also the things that I regret not bringing with me, so maybe you can, you know, like prevent the mistake before you're going. So I'm gonna start with the things I regret packing to South America. A little lemon leggings that it's really way too tight on me. So like, it hurts my belly. I don't know why I brought it with me. It, I mean, yeah, the fabric is great, it's comfortable, it's pretty, but it's just too tight. It's killing me, you know, like, just like if you're bringing leggings that you like don't bring something that hurts your stomach because it hurts so just don't do that <laughs> i don't know why i did it and i regret it also i regret bringing um too tight tank tops so here this pretty cute thing i like it a lot it's really comfy because uh, there's like underneath, you know, here, so I don't have to wear a bra with it. And it's really fun that I don't have to like use two kind of clothings and then like I don't have to like wash the bra sooner. You know, like it's just fun that you don't have to use it. So I was like, yeah, sure, I'm gonna bring a tank top that I don't need to wear a bra with it. But then this tank top, it's so tight on me that it's like, it hurts me, you know, like also. It's not that it hurts, it's just it's not as comfortable as wearing like this tank top you know like it's just fun it's comfy i can wear it all day uh sit in the co-working space and work or go outside but like with that only when i'm doing sports and you guys nobody really does sports when you're backpacking you're not really doing sports even if you are or you're saying that you are you don't really so that was kind of a lie to myself. I don't use it, I'm not doing any sports. Like, you know, I'm hiking, but I'm not running and stuff like that. I don't really need it. It hurts and I'm not using it. Another thing I regret, it's having too many things in my toiletry bag. I just packed way too many things inside of it. First of all, too many tampons. I don't really need so many tampons. You need like maybe three, four for the first day when it's like surprising you, but then Everywhere you can buy tampons and I mean like here in Ecuador they have pharmacy every like five stores It's a pharmacy. They have everything. I didn't really need to bring it here I'm using maybe one one thing in here. Maybe the hair serum and the face wash all the rest of those stuff I don't use it. I don't use this palette for eyeshadow It's way too big and I'm not putting like eyeshadow here in the hostel Maximum I'm just putting like some mascara or like eyeliner um, maybe some concealer but that's it like I'm not wearing any makeup other than that and it's just like a waste of place and then here uh, this place I am using most of it but not really everything so body cream yeah I will use it like once or twice a week but that's like a huge bottle so like I don't think I should bring that um, deodorant yeah sure I'm using it every day um cottons i'm not using it for anything and then here yeah that's what i'm using shampoo conditioner um body soap and also another shampoo i like to, to wear makeup and that's why i brought so many wake so much makeup but it's different when you're backpacking you're traveling you go to hostels and you're like in nature all day or maybe like sitting in the office because you're a digital nomad like me so you have to sit in the office in a co-working space every day for like a few hours but it's not like when you're like in LA you know like going on the streets and then like you want to look nicer it's different like you don't really need any of that that's everything I need brown mascara that I love face cream gel brow gel a tiny palette for eyeshadows just in case of like oh my god I really want to put something trusty eyeliner also my concealer this is the eye cream really like it from Costco and face serum 
So, things I regret not bringing with me. This cutie, it's my favorite thing in the world. This is the Omega Trek Mix from Trader Joe's Individual Packs. Oh my God, I mean, you guys, I brought like 10 of these. I eat it every day when I go to the office to work. You cannot get it here. It's only in Trader Joe's. So before you're going, if you're coming from the US, make sure you're going to Trader Joe's and you get yourself tons of indi individual um, trail mix or like track mix. I really wish I was bringing so much more than that because it saves my life every single day. Oh my God. Yeah, so this is definitely something you have to bring when you're going traveling. The other thing, I regret not bringing my big, beautiful pink thermos that I bought in Argentine because I wish I had my thermos with me, putting tons of like really hot water in the morning and with some tea. And then I can sit in the office for like so many hours and have right next to me tons of tea that I can drink for the rest of the day or coffee or when you're going um, traveling and hiking and then you need to take three hours drive and it's freezing there and you feel so sick and you wish you had your thermos with your tea and hot water and oh my god I just I'm really regretting that I didn't bring it with me so please if you have thermos in your home bring it with you when you're going backpacking you're gonna love it my third and last thing that I regret not bringing with me, it's my favorite flare denim jeans that I love so much and I just cannot believe I did not bring it with me. When you're backpacking and you're also a digital nomad, that means that during the week you're gonna be sitting in the office, in the co-working space, in the hostel and study and work, whatever you do. But that means that like during the day you're just like a normal person going to work, you know? So. It's not that I need to wear my hiking pants and my hiking boots and, and look like crazy, like I'm going to the mountains right now. You look normal and you, you like to, to, to feel fun with yourself and feel good and look nice. I mean, I, I'm not gonna be so fancy, but I do like to feel nice. And those jeans that I did not bring with me are so stretchy and these are my favorite jeans. And I really wish I was bringing them with me because I would wear them every single day when I'm going to the office and sit and study and work. So now it's time for the things I'm really, really happy that I brought with me to Ecuador and to my backpacking trip. First of all, my pillow. So I have my travel pillow and this is amazing. You go hiking and you're going for travel, um, so you have to take a car or a bus for like three hour drives or like 15 hour drives, you know, like it's so long and you're so tired. Usually you go out at like 5 a.m., you come back at like 7 p.m. after a really long hike and really long day. You're so tired and those buses are not comfortable. Like I just put my pillow, I close it so I can just put my head and rest and sleep even though it's so not comfortable there and oh my god you guys if you're thinking if you should bring your travel pillow bring it don't hesitate don't think about it nothing just take it and put it right next to you you're gonna have to take it with you i swear it's really useful my second thing it's the sleeping mask it's just useful right now you see me in a private room but usually i'm sharing a room in the hostel and then each one of us goes to sleep in a different time. And then there's tons of light from the outside and everything. And people are turning on the lights and getting in, getting out, you know, things are happening. This is so useful to just go to sleep and be able to close your eyes and not get distracted every time one of the 10 people are, that are sleeping next to you is gonna wanna get up and do something, you know? My other thing that I'm super happy I brought with me, it's my thermos mug, probably Marshall's yeah um so cute it's big so i get to put their coffee in the morning and then i have coffee it's like i think it's like two cups of coffees probably and then it stays for a long time usually i don't even finish it but then it's fun because in the hostel you're not allowed to take those mugs from the kitchen usually the kitchen it's gonna be right next to the lobby in the first floor and then the co-working space probably in the rooftop on the third floor like here and then you're not allowed to get the mug with you and you really want to have your coffee when you're um, working and you know studying in the morning so bring with you um, this like a mug a thermos mug that you can put your coffee in the morning in the kitchen 
go upstairs, sit with your cup of coffee and enjoy it. And make sure it's like, like a thermos because then it's gonna keep it like really warm. And also, if you can, find something that you can close it, make sure that it's not gonna mess your bag and anything. So yeah, that's, I really, I'm really glad I brought it with me. It's so useful, I love it, and you should really bring something like that with you. Another thing that I'm really happy, it's my electric toothbrush. I enjoy it, I love it, and I'm really happy I brought it with me. So yeah, that's something I do recommend bringing with you. Another thing I am uh, happy I brought with me, it's my toiletry bag. I wish I didn't bring so many things inside so it won't be so heavy and so like puffy, but I do love my bag. This bag is so comfortable because you can open it and then you just like put it like that, hanging, you can see everything. It's so comfortable whenever I'm going to the bathroom to, you know, in the morning or in the evening, I wanna wash my face, I wanna brush my teeth, I wanna put my creams, you know, maybe in the morning some makeup. Um, also, I wanna go take a shower, so I'm gonna need my shampoo, conditioner, hairbrush, everything you need. Instead of taking tons of bags with you every single time, I just take this one just this one i'm opening it like that like you saw before and i'm just like putting like that i love it you should definitely get yourself a toiletry bag that can hang another thing that i'm super super happy i brought with me and i'm so glad i got this good one it's my 10,000 portable charger for iphone this one what i love about it it's that it's so light it's very thin and small and also it has inside already this part so i can always charge my phone i do not need to bring with me the cables it's already there you just press on this one you see how many um, lights are on so it's fully charged and this thing is gonna be probably able to um charge completely three and a half iPhones. Yeah, that's a lot. It's so good, you guys. Um, usually, these stuff are not really good. You know, it's gonna be able to maybe charge you like one and a half times, maybe one times, and it's gonna take forever. This one is so fast and it charges so many iPhones. Like, I mean, like, we charged it like three friends in the other day and there was still battery inside of it. I have no idea how, but this is amazing. So, I really recommend this one specifically because i tried a few this is the only one that i can actually recommend of buying as well it's amazing i'm gonna put the link below and you guys everybody needs it everybody no matter who you are no matter where you go just get it seriously another thing it's my towel so um i really recommend you do like me and get more than one towel so these are my towels, um, microfiber. I got this pack that had three towels with three different sizes. So this is the small one. That's the big one. And that's the medium one. It's just so useful because you have your own towel that you get a uh, shower with. And then you have one towel, you know, maybe the medium one that you're going to hear the waterfalls or maybe to the lake or something. And you need something, you know, just to dry yourself after getting a little bit wet. So then you take it with you the medium one. And then in the mornings, you know, you want to wash your face and then you need to dry it. And like every time I'm washing my face or like um, brushing my teeth, morning, night, whatever, you want to have your small towel and not use always tissues and uh, paper, you know, just to like dry yourself. It's so much more nice and it's so small. Make sure you bring more than one towel. You're gonna be so grateful. Another thing I'm really happy I brought with me, it's my Lululemon yoga pen. I love it, it's so comfortable. It looks great with everything. And I just wear it almost every day. I love it so much. And I really recommend you bring um, yoga pens. I don't know if you guys like, like the yoga pants or not but i just think it looks so nice it looks cute it makes your leg look taller and skinnier kind of and it's so comfy and it's fun it's also like kind of sporty kind of cozy kind of nice to go out to travel it's just good for everything and yeah i'm so happy i brought it with me you don't have to get yourself a little lemon i just i was like oh my god it's black friday i have to get something from a lemon but you don't really uh get yourself 
any yoga pants that really feel comfortable and good on your body, not too tight. Just make sure that you like it, you like the color, something that you can use with everything, you know, brown, gray, black, um, you know, dark color, maybe like dark blue, navy. Yeah, those kind of colors, you could just like wear it with everything and you're gonna be so grateful for those things. So that's it, you guys. I hope you enjoyed it and whatever I said it was really helpful or maybe a little helpful for you guys before your big travel and backpacking or if you're just, you know, a random person that you're just like um, working online or like you're not even working online, you need to go to your office. So I hope it helped you. If you like it, put a thumb up. Write comments. I love comments, you guys. Write whatever you think about it, if that helps you. If you think that some of the things I regret bringing or regret not bringing with me and you think the opposite way or you have some different experience than me i would love to hear that so yeah uh, let me know what you think and share your thoughts with me please thank you for watching